September 1st, 2009, uh, Merrily Zaharia's and Wayne McLeod's home. We have removed the siding off uh, and plywood today. And we are showing the insulation, how it's been all applied. What we are looking at is the inconsistency of how it's put in. The gap on the bottom. Gaps in the top. There is no insulation stops. As looking at top part of the attic, should be a cardboard type material to stop insulation from coming down. It is not present in this home. All the air space has been the insulation. Insulation bunched up over the windows, improperly installed. Uh, fireplace, nothing at all. That's the way it was taken off. So here he is home again. This is the Craftback R19 insulation that they're using. This is a picture of the exterior wall of Zaharia's home again, September 1st, 2009. Shows the poly unmarked. I am coming to a electrical outlet which was which was covered in a poly, which is not the required poly, the CSGB poly. And as you can see, I am going to remove it from the wall here. You can see how easy I'm just pulling it off. And you can just continually watch it come off. If you look through the poly, I don't know if you can see the glue which is not really sticking to anything. And you can see again all the glue, how it's all kind of stuck. Here is home again, 2009, September 1st. Here's a penetration hole. You can see this white caulking, which is really not even sticking to the poly. As you can see, there's no adhesion at all. The caulking they're using does not uh, seem to be sufficient. Penetration around fireplace. Trent Appel is going to remove the lower section of plywood uh, and we will see the insulation how it is uh, not in place. Go ahead Trent. September 2nd, Zaharia's house, more footage on improperly installed insulation over top of the windows. September 2nd, Zaharia's home, uh, that center piece of insulation fell out uh, when the wall was removed, this, the 2x6 was not nailed. Everything else is true to how it was when the plywood was removed. So that bottom hole by the uh, patio doors is the way it is too? Yeah. 
September 2nd, Zaharia's house, Trent is removing the insulate or the plywood. Ooh, surprise, surprise, look at that. Another one missing. September 2nd, Zaharia's house, plumbing around our uh, outside wall exposed. As we can see, the vapor barrier has been compromised. Zaharia's home, we have the roof all off, showing vents. As you can see, the risk of windstorm. Here is a roof truss cut. Two thousand nine Zaharia South Saturday, September fifth, on the roof looking at the non vapor barrier compliance. The 9 uh, September 5th Saharia's roof, probably equivalent to what R40 insulation. You can see how they only did one side of the foaming. No vapor barrier material hardly. The light brown is the drywall. Dark gray is or the gray is the color of the barrier coating. Looking at the light areas are no coatings. Transparent zero mils of spray vapor barrier. Continuous seal. They then lay the drywall wall over it uh, to show more. No poly in roof. This area here is the roof, which is the spray vapor barrier used, and you can see the repairs. We have repaired this roof three times now, and because of the ground movement, it keeps cracking. So, in my opinion, the 
uh, spray vapor barrier will keep cracking and compromising the seal of the ceiling. Here is the interior wall showing the poly, how it is cut around the electrical box. I don't know if we can see the glue in the background. The white light filament is the uh, spray glue which this piece here is what came off it uh, trying to get a better picture here on the ground the white uh, on consistencies between my finger and the poly is the spray glue which is a very thin product it's not even a six mil it's more like about a three mil this product was wrapped around the electrical boot in in behind here and was actually glued in place but there is because the glue does not hold there is no airtight seal that is consistent with 90% of the homes we had inspected. This is an outside wall window. What I'm showing is the poly. Showing the poly is cut and is not attached to the windows. Also showing the vinyl board. Poly unmarked. Craftback paper insulation. Uh, three vapor barriers with no continuous seal again. Consistent in 90% of the homes or even higher. This concludes today's taping of August 5th, 2009.